Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis Above Me's John, and today we're going to talk about Gabby Jesus. Been at the football club quite a while now, like longer than longer than you'd think, bro. It's, like, it's just like a bit of a myth, bro. That he's, he's a new guy, isn't he? He's not a new guy. He's been here for a time. Um, and we're going to talk about his past, his present, and his future. Ooh. Mainly his future, innit? Because that's, that's, you know, we're talking about his future, innit? Um, before we get into it, let's set a like tag, get a thousand likes, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, we did the, uh, I did the Q&A yesterday, so if you're not seeing that, go check it out. Jordan's is coming in like in, in the two days, so uh, yeah, you can get a bit of me on my solo, and you can get Jordan on his solo, get, get the q and I thought it was a good video, bro. Yeah, I People thought it was People find video. out about yeah, us, isn't it? funny, yeah, yeah. Who are these random guys, you know what I mean? Um, big up our sponsor as well, the guys at Manscaped. Manscaped are here, lads, to help us get the smooth balls possible with this, the Lawnmower 4.0. With its ceramic blades, skin safe technology, waterproofness, I don't know if that's a word, uh, cordlessness, I was going to add ness at the end of this, uh, at the end of everything, and you'll become hairless, bray. Hairless. Smoothness. Smoothness. <laughs> you know what I mean? Need I go on? I don't think so. But if, if, you, if you're still not sold yet, you can get this, which is the ball toner, which you put on your balls, and this as well, the ball deodorant after a sweaty session. Um, go to manscaped.com, use code EXTRA20, and you'll get 20% off and free shipping. Um, right, okay, let's get into it then, Bray. Gabby Jesus, obviously, come to the football club a few years ago, and he's always been thought of as a striker. Now, I would caveat that and say... Some City fans, and not so, quite a lot of City fans, to be fair, believe he has he, he does play better on the wing. However, he's played a couple of games there on the wing, done really, really well. In fact, he's done fantastically well. Talk to me, bro. You know what I mean? What's your thoughts on Gary Jesus? Is he a winger? Is he a striker? You know what I mean? Is he a false nine? What are we saying? I mean, can, he be a, can he play left back, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's the most important part, isn't it? Um, to be fair, I think he would do a job at left back. I, I think. He is now a self-proclaimed winger. He said to Pep that he wants to be the winger. He said that he doesn't want to be a striker anymore. I, I think he maybe he's lost a bit of trust in himself as a striker after missing. He misses quite a lot of one-on-ones, which we've seen. He, he was a frustrating striker to have in the team. Hmm. However, everyone knows that his work rate was unparalleled, uh, unmatched. It was. It was. He had an unreal work rate, a good engine, which. Even Pep's come out and said himself. So that's why he was always in the team and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't see him being the false nine hour striker anymore. I guess worse comes to worse, we could put him up there. Uh, but for me, I think his future lies on the wings. When you think of Gabby's best games, they all come from like the wing position. You know what I mean, Real Madrid is one of his best games that he played for City. And I think both Real Madrid ties actually, he, he smashed it coming from um, a wing position. I think it was yeah, left yeah. wing that time. Yeah. But um, he's been, he started the season as a right winger after telling Pep that that's where he wants to be. I think Pep's trusting him in that right wing spot, and I think he'll be very, very, very good competition for Riyad Mahrez. Mm. Um, I think they both offer something a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. But he's exciting. He's super exciting, and it's mm. it is almost like having a new player. Yeah, and you know what? It's kind of mad, really, because we've got Ferran Torres, who was a winger, who was wasn't really doing much on the wing. You know what I mean? Struggling to get into the games. He's coming as a striker, doing well now. And now you've got Gabi Jesus, who's now done 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 the opposite side and. Mm. Transfer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're right, bro. I think he he does offer us something different to Riyad Mahrez. And what we need to all understand as well is that Riyad Mahrez is now what thirty? Yeah. Twenty yeah, nine, thirty. Thirty. 30 yeah. So that guy cannot play fifty matches a season. You don't want him to play fifty matches a season because you know you want him fit and ready and fresh for the biggest games and the biggest ties. So you want to play him in like forty matches, maybe, you know what I mean? You don't want to play him in fifty matches, it'll get burnt out. Gabby Jesus can play on that wing. He's already had a couple of games. And I've already had people say, Oh, LB Jordy, you know what I mean? It was Norwich and Arsenal, know, like, yeah. chill out. And I get I get what you're saying, but the old saying comes home to roost, Bray, which is you can only beat and you can only play what teams in front of you, you know what I mean? You can't just not give a player credit because he's playing against a crap team. Like, you can't do that because otherwise, what's the point of even watching the football match? So I thought he's really impressed me in them two matches. He's also impressed, like you said, bro, against other teams in the past, better, better opposition, such as like Real Madrid. He can play on the left or the right wing, which I'd say only really, I mean, Folding can kind of do it, um, but Sterling's the only one who's proven that he can play on either both left or right. Yeah. You could say Folding can, but he's not really proven it because he's, he's not played that long enough. 
I think I think Gabby Jesus has played on the left a few times and done well. He can play on the right and, and, and do well. He will get you a few goals coming in off that wing as well. He's extremely hard working. So in a game where maybe you know you're going to be up against it, like for example, like a Liverpool match where you know that Klopp's going to have their team like pelting up and down the pitch, Jesus will be a brilliant option. I just think, look, you just said it then, you touched on it, Braz. His confidence in himself has clearly gone from the striker position if he's now saying that he prefers to play on the wing and I know that's like we've not he's not actually said that as in like a quote no one's seen him say that on like TV but they are the they are what's they're the rumours in it they're the rumours that he's told Pep that he wants to play on the wing yeah, yeah. so if he's saying that I think he's lost confidence in himself as a striker I think there was a match the other week where I think it was Tottenham where Jesus didn't start uh, Torres was playing as a striker and Jesus came on and went on the wing and Torres stayed as a striker and that told me all I know, need to know about what Pep's seeing in Jesus he's clearly not seeing him as a striker because he got stuck he got put out on the wing so look this is a good for him it's a good chance for him because I, I don't think he had much of a future at City if he was going to stay as a striker and I know that's sad but I just don't think it is because I don't think he's clinical enough like mm. you said he misses too many one-on-ones but I do think from what we've seen in other matches in the past Against like Real Madrid and other teams where he's played on the wing, and then the first, and then the couple of games that he's played this season on the wing, I think there's a potential that he might have a future there. Still early days, of course it is, bro, but there's Some a chance. Pe- people need to realize as well that he might not get as many goals coming from the right hand side. Do you know what I mean, um, in the morning show today, people were saying that is he not going to be better playing on the left hand side, coming in where he can cut inside and shoot. But do you know what I mean? His shooting hasn't been the best recently. Like, do you know what I mean? As a striker, so <laughs> we may as well play him on the wing. And for me. When he was, I think it was the Norwich game when he got his first assist from that wing side. Um, you could see exactly what it meant to him. You could mm. see how much it he was meant bossing, to, him wasn't he? to get that assist, yeah. and it was like a bit extra in that. And I feel like it's him being proven right mm. in his new position. I think he is saying, "This is where I play now. I'm here to stay, and this guy's going to bag assists." He was putting balls in against Arsenal, going straight to the players' feet. There were mint crosses. Really good crosses. So yeah. I think this guy could rack up the assists this season. Yeah. No, I, I think it's a good option. And you know what? At the end of the day, he can still play as a striker if we need him to play there. Yeah. It's not like a, we're saying, oh, he'll never play as a striker again. He can't play as a striker. He can play as a striker and he can do an okay job. But, you know, if you want nil down in the 90th minute and goes through one-on-one, then yeah, I'm probably backing him not to score. And that you shouldn't get that feeling from a striker. If your striker goes through on goal, you should you should be backing them to score. I don't get that confidence with Jesus. I don't think he has the confidence in himself anymore, given the fact that he's saying he wants for the wing. And I don't think Pep does. And to be honest, the, if, if, if there's a fans, if the manager and the player doesn't have it, the rest of the team probably won't have it. And, and when they've seen him making runs, he might be making good runs, but is Kevin De Bruyne going to p- play the ball when he knows he's probably going to miss? Probably not. So. <laughs> um, look, it's an interesting one. And I'm, I'm hoping that he does he does well on the wing because I like him. I think he's a mint player in terms of his work rate and the effort that he gives. And I think he does love playing for the club. I think he loves um, you know, being around the, the team and the manager. So, you know, you know, you don't want to say get get rid of a player, and I think this is a good option for him. So let's see what happens. Let us know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section below. Do you think he should stay as a striker? Do you think he's better on the wing, or do you think we should sell him and just cut, you know, get rid of him? And let us know your thoughts. And um, big up Manscapes, of course making this whole thing possible. If you do want a discount and free shipping, you can do using our code EXTRA. That's X-T-R-A-2020 at manscaped.com. You'll get 20% off and free shipping, as I just said. Smash your like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Jordan's Q&A is coming up very, very soon. Next 48 hours. You do not want to miss it. You should see some of the questions that he's been asked. See you in a bit.